Hello my wonderful grade 1 students and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about comparing situations. And when we say situations, we mean real life situations that we use math in. As an example, if we want to solve this word problem, we need to tell how many more of something that we have on other than another one. It means that we are comparing these two items and see which one is more and which one is less. So if we look, for example, at these cars, we can see two types of cars. And we can identify them using two groups. We can sort them into two groups, right? These two groups will be the red cars and the blue cars. So the main two groups that we see in the picture depend on their color. Bravo. So we can see blue cars and red cars. Let's count them together and see how many blue cars do we have and how many red cars do we have. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six blue cars. Excellent. And let's count the red cars. Okay, we have one, two, three red cars. Bravo. So, there are six blue cars and three red cars. Are there more blue cars than red? This is what we mean by comparing situations. Yes. Oh, you guessed that there are more blue cars than red cars because of course number six is more than number three, right? But how many more blue cars do we have than red cars? Mm -hmm. How many more means that we need to use subtraction? Bravo! So, since we have six blue cars, we will put number six minus three red cars equals three excellent so we have three more blue cars than red cars in this way we compared the number of blue cars to the number of red cars right now Let's look at another example that involves solving word problems to know how many more or to compare situations. Let's look at the chocolate ice cream that we have here. We have chocolate ice cream and we have vanilla ice cream. Excellent. Let's compare the number of chocolate ice cream to vanilla ice cream. Of course, you know that chocolate ice cream are the ice cream in the chocolate color. Excellent. And the vanilla ice cream are in white color. Bravo. So let's count the dark ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. So we have eight chocolate ice cream. And the white ones are two, so two vanilla ice cream. Which type of ice cream do we have more? Chocolate or vanilla? Which number is greater? Eight or two? Yes, of course, you know it's eight. So we have more chocolate ice cream than vanilla. But how many more chocolate ice ice cream chocolate that we have chocolate ice cream are there than vanilla how many more chocolate ice cream are there than vanilla mm -hmm. we have a chocolate minus because we said that the word how many more means that we need to subtract excellent the two vanilla ice cream so we have 8 minus 2 equals 6. Bravo! So we have 6 more chocolate ice cream than vanilla ice cream. Now, 
let's have more examples about comparing situations we can see balls in the picture we can see red balls and blue balls how many red balls do we have we have three excellent and how many two and how many blue we have two excellent so which color of balls do we have more we have the red color more right but how many more so in this way we need to write the number of red balls which is three minus to know what is more or how much is it more then two which is the blue balls and we will get one so we have one red ball more than the blue balls in the picture this way we compare the number of red balls to blue balls right so now we had a brief introduction about comparing situations by comparing the number of items that we have in the picture or in the word problem that we're solving and comparing the numbers by subtracting them. In our class, we're going to have more and more examples about this. We're going to have items in the class that will help us understand how we compare situations. At the end of my video, I want to say that I love you all and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.